Hi Pisces, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love and relationship reading. So this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And we're going to go ahead and take a look here at what's going on between you and whoever you are connecting to, Pisces, whoever you're thinking of. So this is for those of you who have some form of relationship, situation, or connection with another person. So if you don't have someone in mind, or if you're not interested in somebody, then this may not be for you. Keep in mind, it is very general. It's not going to be for everyone. So just take what fits with you. Just take what resonates with you. Pisces, and remember, it can be vice versa as well. Okay, so this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Spirit, so what messages do we have for you and this person? How are you both connecting with each other? What is the relationship energy? Where are things heading? This is for June 2021 for the collective Pisces. Okay, so we're going to get a few themes to start off the reading. And then we're going to shuffle the tarot and lay out a spread and take a look at the energies that are playing out. So what is the opening theme of this connection, Pisces, between you and this person that you are connecting to, that you have on your mind? What do we need to know about the theme here? Just caught it. <laughs> Getting to know each other. They're both sideways. And we have release your ex. Wow, that's a strong message. We have getting to know each other, release your ex, and we have new love. So this is probably right off the bat for those of you who either you are in the process of releasing somebody from your past and opening up into a new love, or this is again, vice versa. You're connecting to somebody who is in the process of releasing someone from their past and opening up to new love. But definitely that's what I'm getting. And it seems like it's on the verge with getting to know each other um, sideways with the release your ex. It definitely feels like this is something that maybe is kind of in the process, you know, one foot in the past, one foot in the new. That's what I'm getting here, but we'll see what comes up if it connects. So can we get any other theme for Pisces for June 2021? What is the theme of this connection that you are dealing with of this situation? We have twin flame, we have second chance, and we have passion. Try something you've never done before. Okay, so let's get into this. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the tarot a few times. I feel like this is going to be a strong message. We have the devil and the lover showing too. So I, I feel like there's two opposing energies here that I'm picking up on already, like two different situations that are opposing each other. Or decision here. Okay, so let's see. What do we have for this spread, Spirit, please, for Pisces, for them and whoever they are connecting to? What energies are playing out here? Okay, Pisces. And remember, the outcome is only going to be for June, you know, the next few weeks or so, not permanent, of course. So we have the High Priestess in reverse. We have the Fool in reverse. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the King of Swords reverse. Yeah, I knew this was going to be an intense reading. The Three of Swords reversed. Queen of Cups reversed. The Page of Pentacles reversed. And the Six of Cups reversed. Bottom of the deck. 
justice and the nine of cups. Okay, so we're going to confirm as we go along. We'll get much more in depth here. We have Pisces energy coming through. We have potential strong Libra is coming through. Could be Gemini, could be Aquarius. We have Aquarius actually. So we have two double Aquarius. We have double Pisces and double Libra. It doesn't have to be though. Okay, so the first thing I'm, I'm really noticing here, the person that you're connected to, remember it could be the other way around, but the person that you're connected to, how they're showing up in the connection is a Ten of Swords, okay? And that's definitely a very intense, heavy energy. So this person, I feel, is going through a lot of pain. We also have the Three of Swords. There's a lot here to uncover, I feel. Um, the, the challenge in the connection is the Three of Swords in reverse. So cross with the the connection between you both and how you're connecting is the fool in reverse so this is definitely about a, a potential here for a new beginning and i'm getting i think two different distinct groups of you there's definitely like one situation that i feel is being decided on when it comes to the past i don't know if this is you and this person or if this is the opposite way so just take it how it's going to fit with you but somebody here i feel is in the process here of having to maybe make a decision when it comes to the past versus new. And if it's not the past person versus a new person, it's just, can we let go of the past and start something new? Um, and I'm definitely seeing here with the justice too and the nine of cups, this feels like about having somebody here having to make a decision that is going to be what their happiness is. Like, what is the happiness going to bring me? We have passion. Try something you've never done before as well. And then we have second chance. So this is, I, I really feel like there's going to be a judgment call or a justice call, you know, about how to bring through the happiest outcome. And this is something that I feel is definitely coming after a lot of pain. So there's been a, there's been a heavy ending. There's been a painful situation for somebody here. Um, and there is going to be a need to either remove oneself from the pain of a previous connection or a previous situation and let go of the past to try something brand new. Okay. is what I'm getting here, but let's go into it. I think there's going to be a lot of kind of different possibilities in this reading. So let's see. So we have the high priestess in reverse for the crowning energy. So this could definitely point to something being brought out into the open. This all could be happening because there's been a secret brought out into the open or there's been some unsaid information or secrecy that definitely crossed with the three of swords too, could have caused a lot of pain. It could also be about coming out of silence, coming into a, to a decision here after a time of being in, in silence. Let's see. Let's confirm the crowning energy, please, for Pisces as the high priestess. Yeah, there's definitely a connection here, a commitment. Um, wow. Yeah, this is a really straightforward reading. So if this is not for you already, then, you know, please don't take it. But there's a third party situation here very heavily in this reading. And I don't know who's who. So just there's been a commitment here. Somebody was in a commitment. And there's a third party in the way. Okay, I think this has already been brought out into the open. I think this has already been exposed. And this is probably why the pain is coming through as a ton of swords. And then we have another indication here of new connection. So it's like there's three different kind of paths right now. There's, there's a commitment that I feel has been maybe severed. It could have been a contract. It could have been a marriage. Um, a third party got in the way. Maybe it's currently happening. Maybe it already happened. And then there's a th third group about moving into a new avenue. So, but this is what's crowning. Okay, third party connection is what's crowning the situation and the painful ending of this. Let's look at the connection between you and this person. I don't even know if there is a you and this person because of the fact that it feels like either this is something that has already been broken up um, or you are ready to move on into something new. But let's look at this fool in reverse, Pisces. So 
So tell me about the energy between you and this person that you are connecting to with the Fool in Reverse. Okay, so we have unfamiliar feelings, fear of intimacy. We do have euphoric rush and we have in our wildest dream. So for me, this is talking about there's something about doing something brand new, doing something maybe a little bit risky, doing something rebellious, doing something fun, because we have the nine of cups and we have the passion here. So um, this is definitely a new path, a new avenue that's going to promise a like I said, something, something brand new, something that has never been done before. And this is all coming after a third party, maybe situation or a lot of pain has happened here. Um, there could be a twin flame connection in the middle of this whole thing. And this is why I feel, um, this is definitely something that's going to be verging on the risky side, but that is going to promise a new beginning. But this beginning I feel is not being taken either because there's a third party heavily here or because this is about somebody feeling very, very in, in pain and unable to move towards this direction. So let's see. And this is why the outcome is the six of cups reverse because somebody needs to release the past or they're still in the process of really overcoming the past. Okay. Or this, I feel like this is going to be a very confusing reading, or this could be you who has to make a decision between the past and a new person because of a third party dynamic. Let's confirm here the connection between the two of you. Tell me about the fool in reverse. Pisces. Yeah, strong message. We have friendship and we have fate. So there's a faded connection here. There's a faded connection that I feel is very, very encouraged. It's very much meant to come together. And I don't know if this is someone new or someone you already know, but it would be for you if you are climbing out of a third party painful situation, or if the person you're connected to is, there could be children involved in this whole dynamic too. But all I know is that there's a faded kind of very euphoric type of connection that could be verging on, you know, something totally different than somebody here is used to something completely new, something maybe completely passionate. It doesn't even have to be brand new, but it could just be very different, uh, very much of a risk here. And it's like the energy is being cleared to allow this faded partnership to unfold. And it's going to require here having to maybe open up to it, trust it to really move into it rather than being attached maybe to the past, either the past person or just the past circumstances that have come through. Um, because somebody here is maybe drowning in quite a bit of pain um, or the pain of a connection has really accumulated to the point of just hitting rock bottom with the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. So is it even capable, you know, to move into a, this partnership? But there's something faded here for you, Pisces. And I do kind of feel like for most of you, I think it is something new, okay? But just always take what resonates with you. I think this could be a brand new friendship that you are coming into or a new connection that feels very euphoric. It feels very fun. Maybe it feels very different, um, and you are probably the one who has to decide if this is like, can, like, are you, are you ready to do this? Are you ready to maybe let go of the past? Are you ready to come out of pain? And that's what I'm seeing here. Um, so we'll kind of go back around here, but let's look at the person that you're connected to. I'm going to say this is the person that you are connected to, Pisces. How are they coming through in the connection? We have the Ten of Swords. So tell me about the Yeah, somebody's very sad here. So how is this person showing up in the connection? The Four of Swords reverse, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. So there's a heavy truth here that seems to have just happened, or it just has very much been finalized. 
Um, we have the four of, of uh, excuse me, the four of swords in reverse and the four of wands. So this is definitely coming out of healing. Again, somebody has been through a lot of pain. If you are dealing with a Scorpio or if somebody in this mix is a Scorpio, it could be connected because I think this exact combination came out for Scorpio too and the Ten of Swords. Um, so with the four of, of swords here, there's a truth, there's a eye-opening kind of truth here that has come through after a very painful situation. Again, most likely involving some form of third party interference that caused a lot of pain, betrayal, and heartbreak here. And I feel like it's actually about this home because we have the Four of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So this is probably somebody who's coming into truth about the situation that involved a home, a family, maybe even a marriage for some. And it, it's coming with a lot of trying to overcome the pain, though, coming out of pain, coming out of heartbreak. But it's like in the middle of this whole thing, there's a faded love. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords, how this person is showing up in the connection. What is the truth about? Oh, man, this is a weird reading. So we have Psychic Sensitivity. We have Blinded by the Light, and we also have Attracting You. Um, yeah, I don't normally talk about like spell work and stuff like that, but there could be, I don't know what's going on here. There could be some form of... Um, Somebody could have been bound by an unhealthy person or a situation that involved spell work for probably a small portion of you. But if it's not that, there's just a lot of like energy here that's very heavy, I feel, that is, yeah, that's going on behind the scenes because attracting you, spell casting and magic, we do have here fearing a higher power and closed-minded mentality and another card about absorbing energy empathically. So there's a lot of pain that has come th through involving, um, let's look at this person, how they're feeling about you to confirm this, because this feels very interesting. It feels like somebody maybe was caught in a very sticky type of situation or a very, um, turbulent situation. And that, you know, it could be you too, but this is kind of crazy here. Let's look at how is this person feeling about you? We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So uh, again, the Queen of Cups is somebody who is usually a distorted Queen of Cups, somebody who could be very emotionally manipulative. I don't know if that's you or if this is just how this person is, is feeling themselves. We'll see here. So tell me about how does this person feel about you, Pisces? Queen of Cups reversed. I just noticed we had the High Priestess too. So on top of the High Priestess and the Attracting You card, the Psychic Sensitivity, this definitely could be something spiritual going on behind the scenes. Tell me about how this person feels about you, Pisces, with the Queen of Cups reversed. Yeah, this feels like a very heavy karmic situation. Okay, so this is somebody's going through a lot of karma. Somebody has really, really hit rock bottom here. I do feel like there's a lot of regret. So what I'm kind of intuitively getting for a lot of you is that this is probably somebody who either you were the one who was married to them or maybe you were the other person. I'm not sure which one you were, but I feel like this person has a lot of regret. They have a lot of um, karmic things in their life that they're attached to. They have a lot of karmic debt that they feel, you know, regretful about. They feel very foolish because maybe they were the one who tore down this connection. Um, we have your first here too. I'm seeing the mountain card too. Mountain, ring, selfish, and the first. So this is probably somebody who you know, maybe they did see you or they still see you as the one for them. This is very similar to Scorpio. 
Um, but the thing is, is I feel like this person, maybe they're coming from a place where they are like not even, I don't know, maybe that there, there's somebody who is like, there's a manipulation here. And if it's not directly from them, it could be from somebody that they are connected to. I know this is kind of confusing, but that's what I'm getting. Because with the karma here, there's a lot of, like something has crumbled, something has fallen apart here. And somebody feels foolish, somebody feels very regretful. They they do want to respect you. Maybe they kind of see you as somebody who deserves the best here. Um, even if they don't maybe act that way. I do think this is what this is. Let's see here, what else? How does this person feel about you, feelings and intentions towards you, Pisces? Because I feel like this faded connection, I don't really feel like it's the same connection. Um, it could be for some of you, but it, it kind of feels like this is something new in the middle here. How's this person feeling and intentions towards you? Queen of Cups reversed, the karma, regrets. Yeah, this is somebody who definitely, I mean, wow, this is, we have a quiet affair and we have fish in the sea. So somebody here really just has a lot of different options or they had options. There was definitely um, infidelity here, cheating, something of the sort. We have all about the material world too. We have falling victim to mistakes. So this is very heavy. I think somebody here, and you would definitely know if this is for you, but this person, they are somebody who probably was the one for most of you who did this. Maybe they fell victim to a temptation. They there's somebody got in the way of the connection here, maybe a marriage, maybe a long-term connection could have been money involved. Maybe this somehow involved money. Maybe this person was somebody who was very, very materialistic, or maybe they connected to somebody who was all about the material world, but there's been a lot of karmic, um, justice, actually justice has been served here. So things have really torn down. Things have really fallen apart here. Um, and I do think this person, if they were the ones who did this to you, they feel very regretful, um, and they feel foolish, but it's almost like, I don't even know. It, it doesn't really feel, I mean, we do have second chance here. This could be a twin flame karmic type of situation where there's multiple people involved. And I think the, the call is going to be up to you. We'll look at the outcome here, but uh, it, it's sort of like a situation where either you are going to forgive somebody from your past who puts you in the situation, or you're going to move on to something brand new, which could be faded. It could be a brand new faded type of connection. And that's from the very beginning. We have release your ex and we have new love. So this is a choice between two people, two pathways, or maybe even three pathways. So let's see here. So tell me about the block, the three of swords. What's blocking this connection, Pisces, between the two of you? We have different pages and we have denial and we have acceptance here. So and then we have longing beneath that. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, I feel like a lot of you, this is probably something that you're not even attached to anymore. I mean, maybe for some of you, you are, or maybe you have, of course, still some emotions here, but it just really feels like there is going to be a major call made here to see the truth. And the truth is very evident here in this reading that I do think um, this someone is very much maybe missing you or you could be missing them. But it's like, is this going to be accepted is the question. And that's only your answer, I feel, because there is different pages, because likely somebody, you know, is maybe not very faithful or they weren't very faithful. And that maybe for some could have been you, but I think it's the opposite. Uh, let's look a little bit more at, let's see here, this person's feelings and intentions towards you. Let's look a little bit more at this Queen of Cups reversed. Yeah, I mean, it just keeps coming through. There's a hidden third party here. I mean, I think most of you know who it is, but um, I don't like this energy. I feel like this is definitely, if it is something that you don't know about, I mean, you would suspect it, you would know about it, 
but I think this has already been exposed. I mean, we have the moon, we have the high priestess and on top of, on top of the secrecy of this, I do kind of get a little bit of weird, like spiritual energy here going on. I don't know if somebody has been kind of trying to do things behind the scenes to keep somebody, but, um, there's definitely been a level of illusion here. There's been a level of somebody being very caught in illusion with the, the queen of cups too, the moon reverse. I mean, this is somebody who I feel it, somebody in this picture was very delusional or somebody was just very manipulative emotionally. Um, and I think it's caused maybe, maybe multiple people, a lot of pain especially maybe the person you're connected to, they feel very, they, they feel like they're not seeing, like there's a, there's a hopelessness here. There's a feeling of being very much in the dark. Um, yeah. And we had that four of wands too. So being intuitive, Pisces, you would know, like you would feel a lot of things going on. So if you feel something weird um, going on here, there's, 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 some, there's some truth with the Ace of Swords that's coming out about all of this. Let me look at this. So this was the energy between the two of you, but... Again, it could be new love for some of you. Let's look at this. What is this fool in reverse? The fate, the connection between you and this person, Pisces, together. Oh my God, the devil and the five of swords. Um, Ten of pentacles. Yeah, there's been a marriage involved here. Okay, so... I know this is very confusing, but if, if, if this is a connection, like there's like three or four different storylines I'm getting here, um, there's a euphoric connection here. There's a connection that I feel, again, there's a faded type of connection. I think there's like a twin flame and then there's maybe a soulmate or a karmic connection in the middle of this whole thing. Somebody though in the picture is manipulative. Somebody maybe is somebody who is not wanting, uh, to see someone go. So this could go so many different ways. This could be, you're connected to somebody who is in, maybe they're married, maybe they're in a home and there's a lot of like weird stuff going on, or there's a lot of darkness going on. Um, and maybe you have a connection with this individual who has something at the, in their home. And even though you have a very euphoric connection with each other, you may have even a faded kind of connection that you came into each other's lives for a reason. There's very much of a wary energy about getting involved with this person because there's somebody's going through a lot of illusion. Um, so it, it's either way you look at it, it's probably beneficial to stay away from this right now. Um, friendship, fate. It could even be that you have a new connection, Pisces, and this person doesn't want to see you go, or they don't want to get, they don't want to lose grip of you here. Whatever it is, it's very toxic, I feel. Um, let's see what, tell me about this devil and the five of swords. Yeah, new love, see, second time. So there's a new love for somebody, and I think it's probably you, unless you are the new love in this person's life. And even if that's the case, just be aware to get too caught up in all this mess because somebody could be married or they could have um, someone else around them who, again, is very manipulative. But um, there's just a definitely needing to let go of the past with the Six of Cups here. There's too much going on here. Let, let me look at you. So th I'm going to say this is you over here on this side. We have the King of Swords in reverse. Again, could be Libra. We have strong Libra coming through in this reading. Um, so what about you, the viewer? What's going on with you or what do we need to know about you? Oh my God, the tower, the nine of swords. I don't know what's going on here. So we have the tower, the nine of swords, the five of cups in reverse, the seven of swords. Um, 
Okay, so there's a tower moment on like both sides. They have the Ten of Swords, you have the tower. This is extremely heavy. Um, so I feel like if this is you over here, Pisces, you are going through a very tumultuous time. Maybe you're losing sleep. I mean, either one you are. Either you're the other person over here too, and you're, you've, you've come into a heavy truth about a situation. You could be picking up on a lot of psychic energy. You could know that there's some deeper things going on, some illusions, maybe even some spell work. Um, it's like pain on both ends or pain on all angles here because of this toxicity that's going on. So this looks like somebody here for you, I'll say, you're coming out of a painful tower moment, a heavy realization, and there's an acceptance of everything has to happen for a reason. Everything had to happen this way. Wow. Um, Let's focus on what's coming in here because I think this is just kind of clear. There's a lot of people involved. There's Okay, let's look at the outcome here. What is coming in, Pisces? What is what is next? Why do we have the 6 of cups in reverse for the outcome in this connection, Pisces? Yeah, I mean, I codependent patterns. I mean, even if this is resonating with you, I mean, I, th I think the advice here is just to step away from anything toxic or codependent um, because there's a whole lot of that going on. But for the most part, I think a lot of you, you're opening up to new love. Whether you've met them or not, I think this is the advice as well. If you are the one in the middle of this marriage or codependent pattern, then you are letting go of the past or you are connecting to somebody who is too heavily ingrained in a codependent pattern or person from their past. And there's a need to really manifest a new vibration, manifest a new love for a lot of you. Some of you do have this person already in your life. And if that's the case, this other past person, maybe they don't want to see you go or they don't want to see you get away, um, which is why I think it's important to try to detach from this unhealthy situation because we have the nine of cups here and the passion. So yeah, try something you've never done before. So Let's see. What is the advice for the person who's watching? What is the advice for the viewer? Yeah, so you have a situation, I mean, very clear message. We have let go of an old love story and we have, yes, this will bring a lot of happiness and this flew right on top of the fate. So whether you've met this new person or not, you have something fated coming towards you, okay? So if you feel like you've been in this very, very toxic situation or third party situation that came to a tower moment, um, then spirit's letting you know that you, you do have something that will bring you a lot of happiness. What you are seeking is also seeking you. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. So I think for you, the viewer, um, really put your focus on your vibration right now. You have a dream coming true, but it's almost like if this is your story, the further you stay away from whatever this is, then the, the you know, the sooner you can actually have this, what you want in your life. For a small portion of you, you know, it could be reversed that this is somebody you are connected to. Um, and if that's the case, this is probably somebody who they are really, really having to heal some heavy codependent patterns. Uh, if it can be done, you know, it can be done. But I think it would take a lot for this person, if they're the ones who are in this illusion, to get out of this. Um, and so I think you, you need to kind of let go of an old love story to open up to this. 
So there's a new love, a faded love, a faded coming together that is going to bring you a lot of fulfillment, a lot of happiness. But until we can kind of crash down this old energy for somebody here and to see the truth about whatever this betrayal is or was, then we can kind of open up to the new. Um, so the, I forgot to clarify the page of pentacles reverse for the external challenges. I mean, I think either way, there's a lot of challenges here. Let me look at the page of pentacles reversed for the external five of pentacles reverse the 10 of wands reverse and the emperor. So this could be somebody who, um, this could be a father, you know, this could be somebody who you have children with, they have children. I mean, somebody just coming out of a deep, dark time with the five of pentacles, 10 of wands, page of pentacles. This could be somebody who really, really doesn't have anything to offer right now. If this is the new person, they could be coming out of a difficult time. Um, and they want to offer this. I don't know. This is very confusing <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, there's just basically to put it simply, there's a new love here. Pisces, you are where you're supposed to be. This person could be the old person. They could be the new person. But I think the most important thing to, to note here is that stay away from somebody toxic or getting wrapped up into a third party situation that is very toxic because there's, there's people here who are going to be very uplifting. There's a new connection here that is meant to bring a lot more happiness to dr help to drag somebody out of this dark tunnel, I feel. Um, and so the, the, yeah, so it's just a lot of baggage is being left at the door or needs to be left out the door, regardless if it's a twin flame connection or a karmic connection, because there is somebody here who has been a twin flame and it could be a divine masculine for some with this twin flame. But I mean, this would only probably be a second chance if this is somebody who has completely changed. I mean, it's up to you, but, um, if they are the ones who put you through this turbulent time that it's caused a massive tower moment and betrayal and it would be a very um it would be a big shift for them to let go of that that pattern um and so with the i think this is justice for you the passion the nine of cups and the justice you have justice coming in for you the viewer in in a way where spirit's trying to bring you into a faded union uh once you kind of accept and let go and whatever this other person does is, is up to them. They do have their regret. This person does, does feel very foolish. They have a lot of karmic things to take care of. Um, they, they are very much in the dark, I feel. I mean, I can't believe how many heavy cards we have here. Ten of Swords, the Tower, the Five of Cups, Ten of Wands, Five of Pentacles, the Devil. So I don't know if this, if this is not for you, please don't take it. This is probably for those of you who know this is a heavy situation. What is the advice for you, Pisces, the viewer? Yeah. So you have opportunity and change is coming in. It kind of, it flew right on top here, actually, of the emperor, the five of pentacles and the 10 of wands like this. So you are either having an opportunity to, to get away from somebody, maybe very controlling or somebody who has kind of put you in that five of pentacles, stressful situation. And you have power, uh, excuse me, you have opportunity coming in for you for romance and connection. So at the end of this whole you know, darkness here, there is a romantic connection that is very faded. I keep getting that here and I don't know who it is, but I think for a lot of you, it's new. Um, and there's going to be a very beautiful, uh, connection forming with this. And this is why you're being placed where you're meant to be. So if you feel any pull to go into a certain direction, or if you have, you know, an opportunity like moving or relocating or something like that, I really feel like there's a light energy with this. There's a faded, um, very beautiful energy with this opening up, even if it requires you to do something completely different. For some of you, it could be that it's going to require you to really, really do something drastic. Maybe it's, like I said, it could be moving, it could be relocating, it could be, um, 
something you've never done before. And it's going to bring a lot of happiness is what I'm getting to really help somebody to either remove oneself from the controlling or like a captive energy of this darkness. Um, okay. Or to just see the way out. Be careful of any getting this five of swords. Be careful of somebody trying to stop you or pull you in or uh, could, it could be the X for some of you with the devil here or yeah. So let's get the final message anyway, like I do for the other groups. Let's get the final message card. We have, as more time goes by, I feel a deeper void without you. And we have selfish with choice. So this, again, there's like a, I feel like there's a third kind of group of you here, which I don't think is the majority of you, but for some of you, if this is somebody you consider a twin flame, a divine masculine, um, and they were the ones who kind of fell into another trap, there could be like multiple traps here. They could feel like they have an absence of you in their life because they did see you as the one for them. They have a lot of regret about that um, because of what they did or what they fell into themselves. And in order to, you know, maybe come towards you, it would require a huge risk. But I think this is only for a small portion of you. Maybe they just feel the absence of you now that you're gone and you have decided to remove yourself because of this tower, because of all this that has happened. And so it's justice for you and karma is being served for them is what I'm getting, if that resonates with you. Wow. So I hope this, this helped you Pisces. I hope, um, this could bring you some clarity if this was your story. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of the day and I'll talk to you next time. Much love.